learning how to make a rib cut safely today. We're going to use the table saw to make this cut, and I'm going to show that rib cut here in a moment. But I just want to go through a couple of the safety features real quick and just kind of familiarize you with the saw and how to be safe using it. Glance at the saw here for a moment, I'll show you a couple of the parts. Now first off, we're going to be making a rip cut down this board, and a rip cut's always going to be with the grain. So the table saw is usually the tool that we're going to make a rip cut with. Occasionally we'll use a band saw or something else, but for the most part we're going to make that rip cut on the table saw. The table saw is a tool that needs to have a guide for it. And so in this case, we're going to use this piece right here, which is called a fence. And we'll use that fence to be our guide. So that will give us a nice parallel cut with this side of the board. So on this rip cut, we'll set up the fence and it will guide us across the cut here. Okay. Now when we set up for this cut, first thing we have to do, as always, is set the blade up. What we prefer is to have it one tooth higher than the wood. That way it prevents the wood from, if the wood raises a little bit, it will still cut all the way through. But at the same time, it keeps the blade fairly low so that our chance of running our hand across it is also low. Okay? So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to shave a tiny little bit off of this. So I'll set up the fence to do that. And then I lock it down into place. I have my blade height cut, or blade height set, and I'm going to lower my guard. Whenever possible, we want that guard to be in place. Something else, this is called a push stick, and what this will do is it'll guide it. And whenever my hand's going to be close to the blade, I prefer to use this push stick. With the push stick, just keep a little bit of space between the fence, and then you're going to want to squeeze it and hold it down. Now as I cut this board, my left hand is going to plant right here on the table saw and it's not going to move. I don't want to have any forward pressure because I don't want to push my hand into the blade ever. Just in case this jars, I don't want to be shoved into the blade. So my hand just plants and it does two things. My finger holds it tight against the fence, my thumb holds it tight against the table saw. And then I'll transition to the push stick later. Right now my eyeball should be right along this fence line here because the most important thing is to keep this flat against the fence. If it was to guide away from the fence that way or this way, what will happen is the board will bind in the blade and come kicking back on me. And in a worst case scenario, it drags your hand right across the blade. And it will happen so fast you can't react to it, so you have to be prepared for it. So I'm going to make a cut here and show you what it looks like. All the way through the blade. 